Okay, uh, let's start examining the uh, five operators we have up here in the variation row. Uh, there are five of them. I'm going to count them. One, this is the horizontal uh, moves our melody or moves our very, our, uh, the notes in a bar uh, left or right by 16th note increments. Uh, this is the transpose up and down. Uh, this is the uh, mirror horizontally. That icon, this is mirror vertically. And then this is the most interesting, maybe, uh, the contour adjustment. So let's start with the, uh, the horizontal move. And uh, we'll look at, we'll try it in this first bar. And if I uh, remember, I said it does it in 16th no increments so I'm gonna to move to the left uh, one one spot and we can see it's moved a 16th note to the left so therefore the uh, E here that was a quarter note now turns into a dotted eighth it's a uh, 1 16th shorter okay so uh, it just truncates uh, the measure or the bar uh, whichever term you like and uh, I can move it a whole uh, quarter note and that's what I end up with okay and I could move it uh, a half so I end up with uh, you know rests and beats three and four okay let's play that okay not very musical in, in this melody. I don't want to do that. So that's moving to the left. And if I move it to the right, now we're on the first bar. So what happens is uh, the notes disappear. But let's see what happens if we do it in the second bar. Let's see if the notes uh, move and go into the first bar, cross over into the first bar. No, they don't. So we've answered that question simply. The notes don't, uh, they don't, if we go left, they don't go into the preceding bar. Okay, now what about if we go right? I'll go back to the first bar, and I'm going to do a uh, 1 16th note to the right, and voila, it does move into the next bar. So that's, um, it operates differently when you're moving from uh, when you're moving to the right the notes go into the following bar but when you're moving to the left they don't so that's inconsistent but that's fine uh, we just need to kind of know that so here you have this overlap and uh, let's see what happens with that because basically the melody editor is is monophonic in other words we always we only hear one note at a time so I'm kind of curious uh, how it handles that. That sounded, I didn't hear two notes there. Yeah, I don't think you, I don't think it plays two notes. Uh, we'll move it a little bit further. Let's see what happens there. Oh, you do hear two notes. Okay, well that answers that. Okay. I can't offhand think of, um, I'm sure there's a, a, a lot of music, uh, there are a lot of times when you're going to want to do this. Uh, and you'll see this in, in many, many melodies. You'll see this kind of, I, I kind of think of this operation as applying an offset. And one of the, um, one of the elements of, uh, one of the reasons why this kind of works is because you can take a downbeat, um, like the first, the first note in the measure is your downbeat, and in, you know, there's always going to be a natural accent on the downbeat. So you can really create some syncopation because you're going to move, as you move the notes to the right, you're moving them off the downbeat onto the, onto the, um, 
upbeats are the beats that have less stress. So uh, that's where uh, this kind of thing uh, can get interesting. Uh, okay, so um, there's not much more to that. I mean, you're just moving left or right, uh, except let's remember if you move left, and I'll go. To, I'll try it again on bar three. If you move left, the notes don't move into the preceding bar. Okay, they don't move into the preceding bar. Okay, all right. Uh, see you in the next video.